Hey, Brave Nation, Dr. Roosevelt Nevis coming to you from the current community high school. Uh, I am sending a message to our, uh, our, t our 12th graders, our current seniors. And so I just want to let you know that uh, I'm thinking about you. Uh, I'm coming to you not only as a superintendent of this awesome school district, but as the dad of a young lady that is in your class. She's a senior of 2020. And so uh, in our household, we're having a lot of conversations about the uncertainty right now of where our world is and things that are going on. And so, uh, you know, we had a conversation and uh, believe it or not, this is my 30th uh, year, my class reunion, my 30th class reunion. So I graduated in May of 1990. And uh, so it'll be 30 years for me. And so I want you guys to know that, uh, you know, time will move forward. Um, but man, it's tough, it's tough. And I know it's tough for you. I know you want prom, I know you want graduation, I know you want to see your friends again uh, in person. And um, first off, I just want you to know it's tough. It's tough for me as an educator because what we do is to make sure that we speak life to you and give you what you need. But it's also tough for me as a dad to uh, see my daughter possibly uh, miss out on some things. And so uh, what I want to commit to you right now is that we are committed to making sure your senior year is as best as possible. And so I've asked the high school staff to research prom and push that back as far as possible, uh, keep graduation where it is, and hopefully all this stuff will be over by then. Uh, but what we're not gonna do is give up. We're not gonna throw in the towel yet. We're not gonna say everything's canceled, uh, you know, click here to graduate. We're not doing any of that. Uh, we're gonna keep going until we can't go anymore because that's what Braves do. And so uh, I just want you to know that we're committed to doing that, uh, pushing that back, and so we're not gonna even speak that into the atmosphere that we're going to cancel things. Uh, the thing I am going to speak into the atmosphere is I want to speak life into you right now and let you know that this is a part of life. You know, life is full of disappointments and, uh, you know, how you handle this determines uh, how far you are successful, how far you go in life. And so life is full of disappointments, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to me. Life is full of disappointments. And when you have a disappointment, it's not... Uh, the fact that you have it, it is your reaction to that. And if you react uh, using the traits of a brave and you're generous, passionate, humble, and wise, and you're always kind to people and you're nice uh, and you're resilient and you still have a strong work ethic and you don't get down on yourself and you don't quit, you'll do fine in life. Uh, but if you have a disappointment and then you decide to go ahead and quit and shut down and not do the things necessary to move forward, then life won't be good to you. And so I hate that you're going through this it is the absolute worst. Uh, I remember 30 years ago, <laughs> I loved my prom and I loved uh, graduation and I had a great time doing that. And so hopefully, um, you know, our world, things get better and we'll be able to give that to you. Uh, but right now we don't know. And so I'm not gonna ever make any promises to you and say this is what we're gonna do. The only promise I can make to you is that we are going to try to make this the best senior year that you can have. And so um, with that being said, young Braves, I want you to be resilient, be strong, be positive, stay connected with your friends, um, be nice to your parents, because right now everybody's in the house getting on each other's nerves. So make sure you're nice, uh, make sure you're the, 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 the positive big brother, big sister uh, that you can be. And so actually I'm in the cafeteria at the high school because this is the place where you all have come for the last four years uh, as a group. And so I just kind of want to be in here um, symbolic of you, symbolic of your four years in high school, and let you know that as superintendent, I'm thinking about you. As a dad, parents, I'm thinking about you. I spent a lot of money on a prom dress and uh, makeup and nails and eyelashes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I want my daughter to have the same experiences that I had, and I'm sure you want your kids to have those same experiences. And so uh, parents, we, I'm, I'm uh, committed to making that uh, effort for you guys as well, that our, all of our kids have a great time their senior year uh, and also stay academically focused. And so during this time, young people, I want you to make sure that you keep your work, keep doing your work. Don't let that slack. Grades are still important. Uh, we're going to work on transcripts. Uh, Mr. Se Mr. Westfall has a uh, message or a letter that's going to come out to you in the very near future explaining those things and how you can still do that because school is not out. We're just doing it differently. And uh, how we support you is not over. We're just doing that differently. So anyway, um, love you guys. I pray for you always. And uh, we'll stay in touch. But keep your head up. Fight. Don't give up because Braves don't quit.
All right? Love y'all. We'll talk to you later.